actually might be the most intrigued by this next fight that we have on the docket. Uh, it's Peyton Talbot against Cameron uh, Samen here. And you normally, this is what I love about MMA and the UFC in general, is that you're going to put uh, Simon, you're going to put these young kids, 23 for Cameron, against the old guy in Peyton Talbot at 25. And in right. boxing, you guys know this, right? We never do this because we don't want a young guy to get a loss in his ledger. And then all of a sudden, you know, he's, no, no, no. MMA, they're like, you guys square off. It's not going to hurt either one. And more than likely, it's probably going to help both their careers here. Uh, Kyle, let me start off with you in this one. What do you see happening here? And is this going to be rock'em, sock'em robots for three rounds? Or do, do we see some finishing potential? Love this fight. I'm very tempted to red button Cameron Simon by decision at three to one. I think it's a good number. Uh, this is a fight that we'll probably see. These are two kids who will probably be ranked at the same time eventually in their career. They're both really good, both really yep. skilled. I like Peyton Talbot a lot. Not a lot of volume. His path is obviously going to try to get Simon down to the ground. Simon's more of a – he can get takedowns. He took down uh, – was it Bryce Mitchell he took down twice? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it, which is pretty good. Uh, took down Jonathan Martinez once, landed 117 significant strikes in that fight and won that fight, which I thought was fantastic, which I thought was a great fight to watch. And it makes – Cameron Simon's going to come forward. And that – a lot like Penuela, I like guys who are going to come forward, press the action. That looks good for the judges. And I think they're actually coaching the judges to put stock into that. So it's something they're looking mm. for. Just a little bit more volume from Simon. Uh, I think they're both really good. It's a shame one of them has to lose. But for me – um, I don't hate Talbot by submission. Uh, I think he's got a really good sub game, and if he's yep. able to sort of wear Simon down, I think uh, Talbot by submission makes a lot of sense. But maybe, God, do I red button this? Three to one, Simon by decision. Let's get the red button out, and it's new, the 3D red button. I'm going to take Simon by decision here, the forward pressure. I thought there was a new one that had the 3D on it. What happened to the 3D one? I think Ali has the 3D one, and he hasn't given it to Kevin yet, so they have you know the uh, oh. differences there. But we're going to red button it. Simon by decision. I think it's a good price at three to one. Two. This is a 50 50. I think if these guys fight 20 times, it's 10 and 10. So uh, I'll take the little bit of value on the dog and I'll take it at three to one. I'm on the Talbot side here, but I don't hate that play at all uh, because I do feel like Talbot's got to get control on the ground. We saw him get a third round submission his last time out. So the mm -hmm. volume again does worry me. So I understand the logic here for Kyle playing the Simon by decision prop, but Maddie to me, I do think we're going to look back and go, wow, you could have got Talbot at minus $1.40. Uh, I think this kid's going to get better and better. And I hope that if he can get the fight down to the ground, even if he can't get a submission, that the control is enough that possibly it could win either a decision yep. or a submission. So that's why I'm just going to play him straight and lay the small price tag. How do you see this fight playing out with these two young guns? I wanted to play Talbot here, but honestly, I think he was around even money when I was wanting to lock him in, and I just can't get there at $1.40 or whatever the number is now. But mm -hmm. I do definitely lean Talbot here. I just think I just think with Simon, like, I don't want to say he's overrated, but, like, you know, the Terrence Mitchell round one win, like. Terrence Mitchell, yeah. Not Bryce Mitchell. Still yeah, Mitchell, him, that's who it was. Terrence, it still yeah. took him over three minutes to get him out of there when, like, we see Mitchell get starched early by Rosas Jr. And then the Christian Rodriguez fight, like, he gets taken down three times and unanimous decision. I kind of want a red button Talbot here, but I just don't like, I don't love the price. Hmm. Let me, I kind of want to play a Tal, I want to play a Talbot round three. Again, I would, love to, I would love to hear what that number is. What's Talbot round three? I, okay, so Maddie's looking for a specific round prop here. Talbot, on Talbot. round three. Let me find it. Let me find okay, it. Coming off a round. I was three. already looking ahead to Carl Williams, and because I really, <laughs> I love Carl Williams, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But hold on, let me back up here, and we're gonna find Bruno. Will have it before I do watch it. Every time I'm I sure do Bruno this, will. He will have it. I'm <laughs> racing. Oh, there's the fight. There's the fight. Come on. I want to beat Bruno really bad in this round three. Uh, no lines available. Perfect. Plus, Plus 650. 650. Plus yep, 650. Boom. Let me get it. Red I'm locking. Play. I'm locking it in. This is Talbot this is the Radford. this is the card I make a comeback. I'm hitting. I'm hitting two five to one props and a plus 650. I love how we started off the show and Maddie's like, you know what? I'm gonna just go smooth. And then <laughs> bam, he's got three. Big Round ones. three Talbot, the biggest 50-50 <laughs> fight on the card. Here we go. 
I love it. I'm going to lay the small price tag here at $1.40. Matty is red button this baby. He's going to get round three for Talbot. So we're on the same side there. Kyle, I do like your rationale here. If it goes to the decision here uh, that you can look for, for Simon to get that win that way. So we're all on different sides of the equation here with Simon against uh, Talbot, but really an exciting fight. I think one of the more highly anticipated fights for people really in the know and in the weeds uh, for where these two careers could go. So maybe a jumping off point here for either one of these guys. 